Uh, funny enough, it, take the good with the bad. Exactly. But actually, to be to be fair, probably excess reaction. We'll see how how things uh, pan out. Just but if you look at the first half, very mixed in yeah. the first half. To be straight about it, if you look at it from a practice point of view, uh, content, which is about 60, 65 percent of the business, down about two and a half percent, net like for like net revenues. Uh, data and digital media up about two and a half percent, and then tech services up a 54 percent. So very varied. If you look at it geographically, America up seven percent, EMEA up two percent. And Asia Pacific down seven percent, reflecting the the softness in China post post COVID, all the lack of recovery. Um, if you look at our big clients, you know we have about thirteen relationships which account. Where our revenues are about a billion pounds, over a billion pounds you know, annual basis. About fifty five percent with thirteen major clients, which uh, the top uh, the the top twenty clients were up about eight or nine percent. The top fifty about eleven percent. So what you saw was our bigger clients, which include technology clients, yeah. you know, much maligned at the moment, but actually growing quite effectively. You look on the the revenue side, Alphabet, Meta, and Amazon all grew in Q1 and Q2 quite significantly. Alphabet by three and six percent in Q1 and two. Meta by three and twelve. And then Amazon by 21. How 22. much is your sector a canary in the coal mine for the broader global economy as well? And I appreciate there are nuances, and you, you've obviously <clears throat> split the technology yeah. companies from the rest as well. But one thing, excuse me, <coughs> oh, that's my breakfast. <laughs> Um, but one thing, uh, yeah, it's the linseed. Uh, but one thing that I have noticed is the visibility yeah. is getting shorter and shorter as well. I think a lot of them are rolling over. I think you said in your uh, in your um, your release this morning, fourth quarter uh, is where a lot of the activity is being rolled well, over. Seasonality well. is yeah, always. So, so is it visibility plus the ability of this sector to act as a broader metaphor for the wider economy. Is this giving you concern about where we're going? Look, there's fear of recession. I think CEOs come on your program and and elsewhere, and they're positive about things quite rightly because the performance has been good but the performance has been good because they've been very sort of strict on cost mm. and you go inside the companies people are hesitant to commit uh, longer sales cycles indecision and certainly in the first half of the year we saw sort of pushing cost or cost expansion into the second half of the year. So there is fear of recession. The reality, of course, is the economies in the US, North and South America haven't been bad, been quite good, really. West Europe has been the, the difficult place. Asia, the Middle East, been quite good. So there are two big things that are happening. One is geographical fragmentation. So North and South America, the Middle East, and Asia, with the Taiwanese risk, if you're big in China, do you want to go bigger? If you're small in China, you probably do want to be, get bigger. And what do I mean by bigger? China is, what, 18 trillion out of 100 trillion in terms of worldwide GDP. So a worldwide rating weighting of around 20%. You know, Apple is at 20%, interestingly, uh, in China. So you have to think about it that way. And if you look at 2050 and the projections for 2050, what are they? It's China, US, India, Indonesia, Germany, or Germany, Indonesia. So three of the top five markets are going to be Asia Pacific. So that's one thing. And the second thing is Europe, most of our clients, if not all, look at it from a cost point of view. So digital transformation driven by AI, you know, our exclusive partnership with NVIDIA and Adobe and AWS last week uh, in outside broadcasting is a good example of the cost efficiency that you can generate in the broadcasting industry. Yeah. Uh, and I think you're going to see a lot of that in the European context and beyond. Right. So those two things, geographical fragmentation, digital transformation. Okay. Martin, let me pick up on